looking at the next 20 years for Mungano, is number one to re-engage in the process. When we started, things have changed. We have moved to the streets. We have gone to the negotiating table. And Mungano, eh, it exists to offer alternatives to what exists. Mm? So we had a lot of, uh, we sold out because we are sitting now with the enemy. And uh, for me, it, does, it doesn't have always to be a fight. If you look at what we have achieved all those years by sitting down and negotiating, collecting information, it's more than just moving in the streets and saying that we don't have. And we usually tell even people living in the informal settlements that we mobilize. Uh, don't say the challenges you're having. The people you are telling them, we are, you are telling we don't have toilets, we don't have uh, sanitation, water, the roads are bad, insecurity. They know. Mm? So stop singing the same same song. Stop whining. Get up and do something about it. So that is usually the message. They know. So what do you do about it? And if you look at all informal settlements across the world, the same challenges in Daravi, in Freetown, in Mukuru, in Kibera, in the favelas of Rio, Sao Paulo, same. Lack of access, poor housing, unplanned, insecurity, no sanitation, they are the same. Uh, but something I'm proud about Mungano is that uh, it's this special group of people who have stopped whining, complaining, and crying and begging. This group of special group of people who are saying, yes, these are there, uh, but we are determined mm, to prioritize what are these problems, what are these challenges, and we are going to take action. And we are going to create partnerships with this person who has the key, eh, and you are willing to meet them halfway. Mm. So that's what differentiates Mungano from this it's more of alternatives and telling government there's a better way of doing. If you go to all these government offices eh, in their nice swinging chairs, they create a lot of, they talk about poor people, slum dwellers, but then you realize they don't talk to slum dwellers. Mm? Same thing, in academia, a lot of research papers eh, come in, but people don't actually take time you talk about slum dwellers, you talk about problems of slums, you talk about challenges, you talk about solution to the slums, but none of you have ever talked to the slum dweller and asked them, what do you want? What do you need? How can we change this? So the next 20 years is to look at how do we connect the old, mm -hmm. keep us rooted, this is why we federated, but then again, formulate a new way eh, of doing things, a new eh, culture of activism. Mungano is 20 now. There's a history to the struggle, and it's for entire Mungano, me included, to re-engage with what made us federate. Mm? That history is lacking. And they say a nation without its history doesn't have a future. So if we re-engage, and every day we talk about these things, this is where we came from, this is what brought us together. And whatever brought us together is still there. It has not gone away. Eh? And we must keep on eh, with this fight. So for 20 years, for me, is the struggle continues. Mm. Yeah. The struggle continues. Mm. 